uh, Steady is a healthcare clearinghouse. So we process transactions between uh, two parties in the healthcare ecosystem, which are providers and payers. So on the provider side, that could be your local doctor or dentist. Uh, you know, at the large scale, it could be a large academic medical center or a hospital uh, that's in a big city. And uh, on the payer side, you're dealing with uh, the insurance companies. So Blue Cross Blue Shield, uh, United Healthcare, Cigna. But there's also a long tail of thousands and thousands of regional payers and third-party administrators that we connect with. Now, to give you a tangible example, these are all related to insurance. So you go into your doctor's office, they ask for your insurance card. They tell you your copay is $20 and you have three visits left. Um, that is something called the real-time eligibility check, and that's processed on, on studies rails. Now, that's kind of the happy path, that you have your valid insurance card with you. You know, when you think about the unhappy path, you're talking about, uh, okay, uh, maybe you forgot your insurance card, or maybe uh, it's smudged out, or maybe your insurance has changed since the last time uh, you, you got your insurance card. Or, you know, worst case, maybe you came in in an ambulance, you don't even have your wallet with you. And in those situations, you're relying on somebody's memory and then transcription, human transcription or, or, or typing in order to get those details right. If your name is, you know, say your name is Bill or your name is Katie, but your name is actually William or Catherine, or it's Catherine with a C instead of Catherine with a K, or I'd imagine many people have misspelled your name over the years. Once or twice. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you run into this problem of uh, <coughs> the insurance companies are very brittle. So the, the, <coughs> by design, they don't want to return PHI for the wrong person. And so if the details are wrong, they reject the insurance check. Now, the problem there is that uh, when that gets rejected, you have, you know, phone calls have to be made, and so somebody will pick up the phone, uh, or, uh, or worst case, they tell the patient that they're not covered. And we publish content about how to troubleshoot these things. Uh, we have uh, blog posts, we have uh, docs, and, uh, but the reality is that people are pretty busy and, and can't implement all the best practices. So what we built uh, as our first uh, agentic feature, we kind of have a uh, saying, you know, no restaurant ever went out of business for being too small. Uh, you, you pick the narrowest use case, which is troubleshooting these eligibility checks. Um, we built it using uh, uh, Agent Core and uh, Strands, uh, and we built it end to end in in, uh, in two weeks, which I think is you know pr pretty quick. And uh, it's a testament to a couple things. We scoped the problem down a lot, and then the the technologies that were provided to us by AWS were, were fantastic. I think when you look at Agent Core and Strands, it's kind of exactly what you'd hope for in the primitives that you're looking for. And then we get to use all of our familiar. Uh, uh, friends to build our MCP server, like uh, well, Lambda and API Gateway, and uh, you know, d deployment pipelines, and all the things that we we have come to come to love.